Alright, so what's a good way to showcase some stuff? Um, you know, I realize some of the uh, movesets and entrances probably aren't done quite yet. But um, I'll start it off with a elimination chamber six-man ladder. We'll start off with a, with a good old-fashioned money-in-the-bank ladder match with some of these guys that I've made. Um, of course, new tie black is in there. Let's see here. Who can I start off with? You know what? I'm going to start off with uh, with X Pac. Uh, Ty Black will definitely be in this. Ty Black 2.0. Uh, the intellectual depressor of the masses, Damien Sad now. Um, let's see. From Hell's Kitchen, the Underbaker. Uh, let's see. Kenzo, I should do Kenzo Mori. Um, we've already seen New Jake. Ah, the crowdfunded luchador, El Patreon. Currently not very well funded right now, so... Um, let's see. Uh, oh! There we go. Bowflex. Uh, is there a good... Can we do... We should be able to do Money in the Bank 2011. Why not? We'll do Money in the Bank 2011. For this. Is he dressed like Benoit? Yes, he is. <laughs> or Benoit, yes. Uh, absolutely awful. <laughs> Not awful, but just amazing. <laughs> I need to put an NWO shirt on uh, Bowflex and have him join uh, Hollywood Bogan. I have him on here as well. They'll be the NW Bow. I actually just thought of X Pac like, like uh, just a couple nights ago when I was sitting here. It's like God. I need to think of some funny. And interesting characters, and I thought X Pac. Like I saw X Pac. I'm like X Pac. Oh, kind of like Adrian Neville with Pac. And then I'm like, oh my God, X Pac. <laughs> the designs aren't terribly amazing, but you know, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. It feels bad that I haven't come up with a good CM Punk yet. Like, I haven't come up with something. Because I feel like it would be too obvious that it would be to the point of stupid if I were to just, like, like make Phil Brooks Walking Dead enthusiast. Like, I'm just trying to think here. I can't put him in, like, in a chipmunk suit or anything. I wish I could shave his head bald. I, I think they might have it. No, they don't have a bald punk in here, I don't believe. Cause I could put him in like robes or something, have him be CM Monk. And the oh yeah, by the way, the fucking the Ryback shirt the is all fucking Tyler weird. Black. With the, um, as you'll see, it's like all fucking glitched out and shit. <laughs> the new Ty Black is so full of unlimited energy that it's actually pulling his shirt into his own body. One man punk band. Man, now I wish Slater was in here. <laughs> All right. I forget who I made as the third one. Oh, yes, yeah, Damien's sad now. He's got no Titantron, no special lights or anything. <laughs> the best, this is the best part, too. It's like, 
Where'd he go? Where? Oh, he just like he just shows up out of the crowd. Damn it! <laughs> he just shows up out of the crowd in gray sweatpants and socks and a hoodie. And when he takes it off, it's a dirty, stained tank top. <laughs> This, this was one of my more favorite ones. It's very, 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 very simple to make. But I love the idea of Damien Sandow. Like, this is an alternate reality where Damien Sandow gets super depressed after not winning the title. After cashing in Money in the Bank. And he just says, screw everything, and just comes out in literally just socks and sweatpants and a dirty, like, pizza-stained <laughs> freaking tank top. Some of these I don't know if I've gotten around to the entrances yet. I know those I did. I don't know if I did Underbakers yet. Nope, because I think this is supposed to be the Underbaker. Yep. And from Death Valley, <laughs> the Baker. This is supposed to be the Undertaker's entrance. <laughs> but uh, yes, I made Hell's Kitchen Undertaker. He's the Underbaker. I wasn't originally going to have his gloves on, but I found out that the tape that he has on his thumb and fingers right there uh, is just part of the, the thing. So, <laughs> I almost kind of like it better this way. <laughs> we just pissed off Underbaker, like someone's canceling, an, <laughs> someone's canceling an order, they didn't like his cakes, they thought his bread tasted flat. He made a thousand chocolate cupcakes. Turned out they wanted red velvet instead. A cake valley driver tomb scone. Oh my god, yes, the tomb scone pile driver. That has to be his I don't know if he ha if I've made the move set yet, but the tomb scone pile driver, that is it right there. <laughs> All right, the crowdfunded luchador, El Patreon. He comes out in simple black trunks, very simple wrist tape and very simple boots. Mexico City, Mexico, El Patriot One. I think he actually has Jimmy John's on the back of his trunks. He got trunks sponsored by them. Last ride. <laughs> The gimmick for El Patreon when I do the universe mode is that, um, much like Patreon, he, he only gets paid through crowdfunding if he, um, if he actually wins a match. So he has to win matches to earn things like knee pads and a Titantron. And better boots. Oh yeah, I gave him like simple Nike, like wrestling boots. So he'll have like his nice boots and trunks and stuff if he starts winning later on. He spent all his money on he spent all his money on that t-shirt. <laughs> all right, who else is next? I think I did his entrance. That looks like a, an entrance I've done. Ah, yes. Bowflex. From Atlanta, Georgia. Or <laughs> Dallas. Wow! Listen to that reaction. We need more viewers. I got that once when I was doing TEW. I don't think I'm gonna get another one. I might ask for one maybe when I actually start the universe mode. I got 15 guys right now, which is technically enough, but I want to try to get to like 20. <laughs> Bowflex is going to be part of the NW Bow. I had a lot of fun making his tights as well. It's supposed to be Benoit's four real tights, but it actually says Bow Real.
And of course, after this, I got a few extra characters as well as um, <laughs> Bo Real, yes. The money in the bank dangles 20 feet above the ring. And all six of these I changed a lot of their stuff too, if I remember right, to sort of fit their characters. Like Adrian Neville, Adrian Neville's got the X Factor and the Bronco Buster. I'm sorry, X Pac. I tried to make him look as close as I could to just like X Pac, the regular X Pac. Oh, here we go. X Pac and Ty Black. Revenge of the Indies. Let's do an Andy spot. And he's going for that ladder. Oh, the punch connects. Oh, King, did you see that? Whoops. Oh, man. It doesn't get much closer than that. Oh, there's an Andy spot for you. <laughs> oh, man, that was a vicious elbow drop. Oh, mama. Nice move. Grab a ladder. Grab a ladder. There's a ladder. Oof. Take out Ty Black. He's the most known one here. And we're going back between the ropes. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Oh, no. Oh, Let's lean it up. Things are about and to I, also, I also tried to make their stats somewhat realistic. The so statistically the worst person in this ring, if not like in the, in the future universe mode, is Damien Sad now. The gimmick is that hopefully he doesn't win like hardly any of his matches at all. I want to make him like the lovable jobber. That's how he remains depressed. <laughs> Is by not winning. D -d 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 Punch him! Oh boy. Is AJ skipping this game? I don't know if he does or not. Or she. I don't know why I thought, like, I was thinking AJ Styles at the same time as AJ the Diva. Oh, shit. Yes, I have a signature. Get back in the ring. We're doing this. Get in the ring. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Get over here. I'll do it to El Patreon. I don't care. I'm doing it to somebody. Somebody is taking a Bronco Buster. Somebody has got to take a Bronco Buster. Drop! Damn it! Someone's gotta take a Bronco Buster! The Underbaker's hanging! Holy shit! Alright, sad now will take it. Take a Bronco Buster! Yes! <laughs> Here comes a Bronco Buster from Max Park. Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Oh God. Get up. Get up. The X Factor. Taunt like you mean it. Oh Jesus Christ! I just landed on the wrong end of a meat hook clothesline. Oh, God damn it. Get up. Alright, let's see what I can do. Oh my gosh. Jesus, 450 to tie black. I do feel like this needs more people watching this. <laughs> Ha, ah, you saved me. Damn. Oh shit. Both flexes got kill me. Jesus. Oh, that's a signature. 
<laughs> I know that's his signature. The triple Germans. I'm getting out of the way before he can cross face me. Oh god. Shell shocked by Ty Black. Ooh. Things are getting weird in this match. Grab him! Grab him! Come on, Sad now! Yes! Ow. Ooh. Ouch! You can hear that in different time zones! Oh, what a shot! Jesus! Shot from the ladder. Oh, I got I you know, I do I think I do have to do the 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 skip Sheffield idea. Oh god, right on the chair! Are you willing to pay to oh this god! This is unreal! Skip Sheffield has gotta be part of it. He'll he'll be he'll be a very nice apprentice for the Underbaker. X Pac! X Pac for the win! Oh no! Oh look at this! He's hurt! Movie stewardist. For some reason I feel like no! Somebody get Bowflex! Somebody get Bowflex! Oh, oh my God! Did you see the impact? That was insane! Holy shit! Holy shit! Climb the ladder, or tip the ladder. And again, the ladder comes into play, and this is going to return to the ring. God damn it! I know for for a fact, though, I have to do that skip Sheffield. That one's getting done. His competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Then they could be sort of like a once in a while tag team as well when I do like tag team matches. Back in the ring. What a shot. He's a big they could be strong allies with one another. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to Set it up. Set it up. Climb the ladder, kid. Make yourself famous. Oh no, Bowflex is up! Bowflex is down! No, they moved the ladder away! Oh good lord. Oh! He's dead. That's death. Oh my god! Sad now just got suplexed right on the freaking ladder. <laughs> I like didn't like the fact that I was trying to go up his ladder. Don't worry, I'm still I'm still checking the chat as you're doing this. Look at the welts. Think I reversed. Yep, reversed. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest here. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a heel, tell the crowd to suck it. Tell that one guy, that one guy staring at me. That's where you can do it, right there. That's right. Yeah, you can kiss that too. Oh shit! 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 Oh! God damn it! Someone hit him! Why couldn't I hit him? God damn it! Hey, sad now! Oh shit! That's an idea. I do love the Skip Sheffield idea. That's definitely going to be one. I had an idea. Um, one of the tag teams is going to be kind of funny, and I'll mention it later when I actually bring up the tag teams. It's just the one thing I hate is the fact that I can't change, like, say, skin color or put custom logos or anything on people's bodies. Uh, at least for like the superstars and stuff. Like I can't do anything with the superstars like that. Nope, you're eating you're eating a fucking Oh Jesus. 
Someone has got to eat a Bronco Buster. Sad now is just rolling all over me. Sad now. Please take it. Take it. Come on. Drop down. Drop down. Oh, they hit me with a. Oh, boy. That's a compromising position. Come on. Shake it off. Oh, no. I got, th I got three fucking finishers. Oh, wait. If I got three finishers, come here. I got three finishers. Hang on. First off, do the kick. I think I, I think I have him set for this. It has to be King, but I still don't see him giving up. Oh no! Wait a minute, Cole. What's he gonna do? Come on, come on. Lights out. Oh man, what impact from that suplex? Who's that? Oh, this is gonna be a suicide dive. I think I got to do it somewhere else. Look out! Oh my God! If he can win this struggle, he might just. Kevin Ash, that'd be fucking. That'd be funny. I think it might be up against this then? And there he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh no, no! Don't do this! Don't do this! Come on. Come on. Oh, Fuck. Trying to think of some of the cool shit that I can do with a couple of finishers stored up. Again, Fuck it. No Fuck it. So go ahead and hit him with the tombstone. I'm gonna go climb the ladder. Xbox gonna win! Xbox, no! No! Oh my god. Ash from Evil Dead sounds like a better idea, though. Kevin Ash. Ah, god damn it. Get your fucking ass up. X Factor. Come on. Get off the ladder. I'm gonna take it. He hit nobody. Fuck it. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to go. Just go. Just go. Get up that damn ladder. Oh shit. I don't know who this is gonna hit. Oh! Oh, position the ladder. Damn it. I just want this match to end now. He's gonna hit me. <laughs> Let's do your spot. Ha! Ah, reversed. You drop the ladder. I'm fucking making it. God damn it. Come on. Give me some room. Give me some room. Damn. Oh wait, with three I think I can do it. I have to check. Sad now would be the perfect guy for this. I think I think I put him over here. Let me leave me alone. Or else I'll do it to you. God damn it, someone get Patreon. Oh, well, Patreon wins. God damn it, I really wanted to try to do the turnbuckle DDT. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. Let's go to the highlights here. Oh, there were some odd match, was it? God damn. Hell, Patreon gets money in the bank. He can finally afford. He cashes in. He cashes in money in the bank to, be, to to dress like a real superstar. <laughs> I already I already had the idea that if I uh, be, am able to get his personal ring announcer in there, uh, his name will be Kickstarter Rodriguez. Oh God. 
All right, so this tag team match, ah, uh, you'll you'll end up seeing it anyway. I wish I could like, I wish I could just like turn off the screen, but I know it'll shut down the whole damn thing. So I'll just pick it. Uh, there's a few guys I don't know if I want to show them right off the bat. Uh, the APA member Rob Van Dam, um, Kenzo Amore. It's basically Enzo Amore, except he's dressed like Kenzo Suzuki was. Uh, then, of course, there's New Jake. Uh, Hollywood Bogan I haven't shown yet either. Basically, it's just, you know, Hogan, but it's Bo. All right, here comes the tag team match. Gay J Styles and Finn Gaylor. If you've never seen these outfits before, their tag team is the ambiguously gay duo. And they're going to be facing the tag team of the Ninja Curdle <laughs> and Curdle Hennig, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Curdles. Let's see. We'll make it Battleground. <laughs> there we go. The upcoming tag team match of the ambiguously gay duo, Gay J Styles and Finn Gaylor <laughs> versus the Ninja Curdle and Curdle Hennig, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Curdles. Now, what I thought about doing, and this is why I hate the fact that if I try to do like a um, just a regular superstar and try to change them, I can't change their body. Because I'd love to make Curtis Axel green, have him be uh, Curdle Axel, and instead of making Mr. Perfect green, change him to like kind of a almost like a brown, dress him in robes, and he'll be Master Perfect. So he'll be like their manager. <laughs> uh, Gay J Styles, Finn Gaylor. Uh, the Ninja Curdle, that's Kurt Angle, so it's Curdle with a K, and then Curdle Hennig. You know, spelt just like Kurt Hennig, but with the L-E at the end. <laughs> the Ambiguously Gay Duo. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> Ray J. Styles and Flynn Gay Low, the Rock Rider. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Since obviously they don't have the ambiguously gay duo as a team name, <laughs> just have them come down as the Rough Riders. Gay J. Styles, Finn Gaylord, Ninja Curdle, and Curdle Hennig, yes. But Curdle Hennig with a C instead of a K. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, I can't fit Teenage Mutant Ninja Curdles on here, and I didn't just want to call them the Mutant Ninja Curdles, so they're just pronounced TMNC. Or TMNK. I think it was TMNC, because that works better with the TMNT type thing. And it's got to it's gotta chug along to try to load this crap. <laughs> Because there's a lot of, like, body paint and other shit that they have to load. And their opponents. Ninja Kurt L. And <laughs> TMNC. Mr. Perry Ford. <laughs> the Monsters. Oh, I'm looking forward to this tag matchup. Of course, much like the Ninja Turtles, uh, they wear the, the elbow pads and the wristbands of their color. Uh, and the knee pads and no boots like I said I really want to I really want to be able to use like Curtis Axel for this and have him be Kurt, like Curdle Axel and have just Mr. Perfect be Master Perfect just have him take the splinter role
All right, really quickly though. I I have a whole bunch of <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stupid names in here, and I have to try to remember. Skip Sheffield. At the very least. <laughs> Nothing quite like the ambiguously gay duo making their big return <laughs> in the form of AJ Styles <laughs> and Finn Balor. Oh shit. I believe I finished all of the, at least the tag team entrances for all four guys, obviously. I believe I did all their moves as well. I'm not 100% sure about Finn Gaylor, but I believe the rest of them are the way they should be. Yeah, I ended up getting the, the message on my uh, phone when you did that. Ah, goddammit. Yeah, if you don't, if you've never seen the ambiguously gay duo, they were a they were a thing in the '90s and early 2000s on Saturday Night Live called TV Funhouse. It's kind of where uh, both Stephen Colbert and uh, Steve Carell kind of got their start as the writers and actors on that on that bit. They did it like every once in a while on SNL. It wasn't like a weekly deal. It was kind of a recurring thing, and it's absolutely hilarious. I think it's on Yahoo. If you ever go on to like Yahoo. Uh, they do. They have their little like video thing. Um, you should be able to in, like type in like I think it's like Yahoo Screen or something that they call it. It it'll be it'll be the ambiguously gay duo. Oh, you know who they are? Okay, because it sounded like it sounded like you, you didn't know, but yeah, that's. Ah, I don't know what the fuck that was. Yes, yes. Get the tag. No, come back. Yes, a favor, sir. God damn it. And there's an elbow drop. He almost took a spell oh. with that lariat. Right back a gi and a red handband. Oh no. And bam, he knocks the opponent down. He saw that one coming. The only the only downside is I don't think I can give him a gi. The only thing that they have close to like jackets in this game is what I gave the Underbaker and then like just robes, like the Ric Flair esque robes. Unfortunately they took out a lot of the random crap in here that I used to love about the customization in the game. I don't even know if I can give him a red headband. I think I'd just have to do the paint tool. I, and especially if it's Ryback, I won't be able to do that. Ooh, a serious knockout blow. Because of the stupid, like, not being able to, like, change their body or something to, like, a... To, to, to change their, like... I can't do, like, body morphing to, like, add paint or anything on them. That's impact and then some. Like, I did the best I could with, with a lot of these guys just because it's like, okay, well, I see what I can work with here. Unfortunately, I'd probably have to find, like, a Ryback that, um, a Ryback that, uh, maybe was already made, like, that maybe isn't, like, a head already, like, someone, like, custom made them as in the logo and everything. I can always try. I don't know if it'll work. This is the one big thing. He's flying! Oh yeah, I forgot to change his name because I was originally just going to call him Ninja Perfect. And then I realized how stupid that would sound and just called him Kurtel Hennig. Because it's like, hey, I, it's, it's Kurt, so the Ninja Kurtel, Kurtel Hennig. What's he doing? There we go. Oh no, he's gonna rip off his mask! He's gonna reveal his true identity. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. 
Oh. Watch it. He looks fired up here. He put all his weight behind that. I don't know why in my head all of a sudden my my mind just went to like Curdle's in a singlet, Curdle power. They're the world's most fearsome tag team. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They know how to suplex and they're green. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Were you back? That'd be funny. Talk about catching a beating. I don't know why I have so much fun just dressing up Bo Dallas in stupid shit. That's always my favorite part, is just trying to find stupid stuff that I can put Bo Dallas in. I mean, the, the amount of possibilities there. Like, I can do Chris Jerobo, Eddie Guerrero. I wanted to do, like, the whole NWO, but it's NW Bo with Hollywood Bogan. Razor Rabo, Bo Sexy. Fire in his eyes. Die! And sunshine begins These guys are getting eaten school. up. Yeah, NW Bo is a must. If I if it has to be like if it has to be like Hollywood Bogan, if, if it doesn't have to follow I I don't have to make it the exact formula of a NWO. It could be like Hollywood Bogan and Bowflex, and then maybe like one more guy. One more stupid bow pun. <laughs> Dragon, you seem to have gotten their attention. <laughs> they get to come in in the middle of this stupidity. Fuck! Way. All right. Strategy there. I imagine they come out. Everyone's what the fuck? God damn it! And he gets All right. Back in the rain. Styles is just so tired. And this is gonna return to the ring. Fuck! I don't remember his goddamn moves. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Corona. There we go. Okay, what's his? Here, just tag out. Oh, he's gonna have to do something big I don't know what their goddamn moves are. Like their specials. What did I make their specials? Whoa, he's measuring. Why did I make it that? I don't even remember why I made it that. Oh, Jesus. Did I give him the diving foot stomp? Yes, I did. Alright. First, knock him off. That didn't work. Here. Don't let him tag. And the Olympian answers back. Come on. He's got him. Shit. Get in the He's ring. Fuck. You interrupted that shit. Fucking idiot. What a fierce kick. Sunshine just got eclipsed. He's not exactly popping oh, up shit. to his feet here. Break his neck. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Look at the blood. I think I might have busted him open. Fuck. Fuck. I had that goddamn match. And he finally gets out of the ring. There, now pin him. Pin him! Pin him, you asshole! Pin him! God damn it! And Mr. Amazing comes up with a counter. Every time. Ends up thinking by the Olympian. Still got like three or four more guys to show off. It caused blood. <laughs> you hear how his I'd love to see. I'd love to see like a, a green character bleed. Here. 
All right. Just drop kick him and end the match. That's the finish. One, two. God damn it. All right, what's his comeback? All right, he does the Cena. He does the Cena shit. Sure, why not? Why the fuck not? What a counter that fuck. was! Whoa, what a counter! Did I give him a regular finish? Yes, I did. Oh, there. The next week. Now end the damn match. Can he score the pin? One. Two. He got him. <laughs> the ambiguously gay duo of one. And here's that's when you catch your partner in a wheelbarrow. Um, I forget what that's called. By the way, a and diving move like that just looks more majestic when they're wearing like faux superhero outfits. It's glorious. Here are your winners, Brainy J Style and Flynn Gay Low. The Rough Riders. The Rough Riders. Because why not? Was an incredible match. Oh, I still have at least a few more to show off. All right, I, I want to put New Jake in a match because I haven't put New Jake in a match yet. I got just the guy for him to face. I don't think. I don't think I've I've shown him quite yet. So we'll make it like, we'll make it an Extreme Rules because that'll be his specialty. Stream rules, uh, new Jake. He'll be facing, hang on, let me move this to the extreme rules pay-per-view real quick. For this. All right, where is he at? There we go, Derek Batman. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. I wish they had a cape in this that I could use. I really I really wish this thing had a cape. It would be it would be great. Derek Batman isn't there to save the trouble. He's there to cause the trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Oh, yeah, I haven't done the entrances for either of them yet. Fuck. Yeah, I haven't done any of the entrances for him yet. Shit. That's all right. New Jake and then Derek Batman coming and doing the same exact thing, I assume. Unless wherever I got this EC3 at didn't... uh Come on. Oh, it's taking up so much time. Yeah, he didn't get his entrance either. So he comes out with a phone. That's how you signal him. From Sarasota, Florida, <laughs> Derek Batman. Oh, the WWE Universe letting him hear it. Oh, yeah, I forgot how much trouble it is to try to create a superhero type outfit with, like, the tights one color and the. Boots another color and the as the underwear thing another color. I do I do desperately need that cover of Natural Born Killers to play throughout this entire match. <laughs> oh shit. New Jake just throws bombs. That's all it is. That's all it is. He just he just stiffs the fuck out of these guys. Why are we why are we chain wrestling? That'll chip your 
Sarasota. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, a face buster. That'll cause some damage. I wish, I wish some of these guys could show up in my own my career. That would be phenomenal. Oh, that was failed. There we go. I need to come up with like, I need to come up with like really unique stuff for these guys to use. Because I don't see, I don't see New Jake being the type of guy who would use a, a, a neck breaker. All right, let's go get some weapons. Again, this is a no disqualification match. Anything goes. Well, I think that's about to be put to the test here. Fucking sledgehammer! I meant to go for the kendo stick. Derek Batman. Yeah, I should I should have him from Parts Unknown. I hadn't I hadn't changed that yet. He should be like, because I don't think there's like Gotham. Now back under the ring, looking for another object of some sort. If you know if you know of someone I can use as his Robin. Oh, instead of Rob Van Dam, I could have Robin like Robin Van Dam, and have him come out as like. <laughs> rob the rob the stoned wonder and he's stuck of course he's stuck <laughs> of course of course this happens oh oh There's oh, a lot oh. Of things under the ring and all of them hurt what the fuck are you searching for Get in the ring. This could Get in be the, the ring. Maker. There you go. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Yeah, oh, Bane broke your geez. back. I'm going to break your skull. Good Lord, he's just held back <laughs> his opponent. Uh oh. Oh, here comes his comeback. The mask man takes advantage. Oh. oh, shit. Look at the eyes. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, I can stop this. There we go. Fuck, what did I set his stuff to? Look at this, oh, I guess I didn't... I guess I didn't change that yet. Oh well. Let's give him a good old-fashioned DDT. That's it. He's done. Call it, call it good. He could pin his opponent right here. <laughs> and he wins wow. That Batman went down quickly. I was literally about to climb the ladder and be like, I'm going to retrieve the belt. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's an Extreme Rules match. <laughs> you can see that. I'm like, I'm running towards the ladder. It's like, quick, set up the ladder. Oh yeah, I don't need to. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. Uh, Here is your winner, New Jake. Yeah, I, uh, I completely forgot because I was sitting there being like, okay, it's fucking ladder match time. Get up the goddamn ladder. <laughs> All right. Shit. There we go. Marcel, what's going on? Uh, PlayStation 4. Um, I think I still got enough to show off some other guys. Let's see what I can do. Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules. I could do another ladder match, maybe. Whoop, not a rumble. Uh, six-man Hell in a Cell. I could try doing Hell in a Cell with six guys. I think there's going to be some repeats as far as some of these guys go, but... Let me see. Who do I want to be? Who do I want to be here? Um, you know what? I'll be X-Pac again. Because I fucking love X-Pac. <laughs> um, who else have I hadn't had? Rob Van Dam. Um, let's see. Kenzo Amore. Haven't seen him yet. Uh, let's see. Hollywood Bogan. Haven't seen him yet. Oh, 
I know there's a few others, I think. No, we seem to have gone around the horn, so let's see. Let's see a couple of your favorites, maybe, from earlier. Maybe not El Patreon again. Because El Patreon won the last big six-man match. X-Pac. I'm already X-Pac. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll put Bowflex in here. Why not? Put Bowflex in again, and then... Um, I'm thinking either Underbaker or Damien Sad now. What do you think? Sad now or Underbaker? Hmm. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, we'll do Sad now. Damien Sad now is good. We'll do we'll do Hell in a Cell like a normal Hell in a Cell. Here we go. I don't think I've done most of the entrances for these guys, so I might. Yeah, Sad now has an entrance. I should have done NXT, but I don't think you can actually break out of the cell if you're doing it on NXT. That's the one thing. Shit, Armageddon. They call it Armageddon Hell in a Cell. I, they have Armageddon in here. I should have done that. If I remember right, there's certain things you can't do in the NXT arena, and I'm thinking busting out of the cell is one of those things. There's two fucking bows. God damn it. Oh, here he comes. I really wish there I really wish there was more than just the regular entrances cuz I totally would have done a DX like X-Pac entry. I would have went full like DX X-Pac with this. From England. Instead I'm just giving us giving like a stupid just as regular Adrian Neville. Break as hell. Yeah, I think there's still a few guys here I need to give move sets and entrances to. I think I'll do that on another night. Holy shit, is it? <laughs> is it getting late for me? That's all right. I actually, I, I, I'm, I'm doing this match for sure though. Uh, since I pretty much, since this match will be the one that shows off the rest of the guys. Did I do his or not? And approaching the ring from oh yeah, I gave him a very sulky entrance Damn. due to the fact that if he's the newest member of the APA, he shouldn't be he shouldn't be um he shouldn't be doing his like real like RVD entrance. He'd just be coming out like like an APA member. Just angry. I even did like the APA on the side there. <laughs> and then like his his RVD logo on the other leg. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I gave him that pyro. <laughs> The joke keeps getting better. Oh, <laughs> uh, I forget who all I did next. Generic entrance. Someone I haven't done their entrance for yet. Oh yes, Kenzo Amore. Yeah. They don't. They don't exactly have a. Have a uh, kimono, so I just ha I had to give him Ric Flair's robe essentially. <laughs> Guess Marcel wasn't too thrilled about <laughs> about the stupidity of all this. Generic entrance. From Venice, oh, Hulk Beach, Bogan. Hollywood Bogan. Hollywood Bogan. Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. Of 
course, the stupid Ryback thing is all screwed up. Or just, just that, just that shirt in general is all messed up. Just that. It's really weird. I hate how glitchy that thing is. I think I need to, like, Photoshop in an NW Bow logo as well. As well as do his whole entrance and everything. I believe I did his moves already, because I think I gave him the leg drop. Oh, this one's an actual entrance. <clears throat> For Bowflex. From Atlanta, Georgia. For <laughs> oh yeah, and I changed it so instead of Florida, he actually comes from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I forgot about that. Carmelo Hiroko. I really wish there was a good way to do that. But bro, Carmelo wouldn't come out with Kenzo, he'd come out with Big Cass. Which I've been racking my brain trying to find a stupid pun to make out of Big Cass, because there's a Colin Cassidy call on the community creations. <laughs> Big Hero Cass. I'll have to figure out something for for Colin Cassidy. Ah, oh, this may be my favorite, my absolute favorite entrance because I have it specifically set so it like goes up at the entrance way as you're waiting for him and there's nothing. And it pans over to the crowd and they're like, "Where's he at?" And he just shows up through the crowd in his sweats. From Boston, Massachusetts. Damn, Ian. Wow, listen to that reaction. <laughs> This is, that, like I said, this was probably my favorite one to make. Because it's like, there's no, there's no lights, there's no Titantron, there's no nothing. It pans over to the, to the entrance where you assume he's going to come out, and then he just sort of like sulks out of the crowd like, Yep, another match. Going to get my ass kicked, as always. I hope I made his stats low enough to where when he does lose, and eventually he'll probably win, that it becomes like a huge deal. That's that's the goal here. Is that he becomes the ultimate lovable jobber, and then eventually he has his Barry Horowitz moment of winning. That's how I want it to happen. Oh shit, we've already been through all six. Sweet. Let's get out of this damn ring. There are too many people. On the bright side, you can actually, like, wrestle on the outside of the Hell in a Cell as opposed to just your usual shtick of... I've been waiting to try to find a Ziggler one. Did he just do a diamond cutter? Sorry, did Xbox just do a diamond cutter? Just Yeah, that's just a regular move I'd do. Eliminator reacting on instinct there, and the Dominator counters it. Dolph winning the title moment, that'd be great. <laughs> Just something that big where it's just like, holy shit! Like people are marking out like sad now wins! Sad now wins! Another sneaky move! And outlaw reversed it. Stop doing the face wash. Do something god damn it. Oh my He is bitch slapping Damien Sad now. I guess he can't really wrestle all that much. More face washing. Face washing and bitch slaps. Because why the fuck not? Come on, what a dirty move. That'll leave a mark. Oh my god, he's still face washing him. And outlaw reversed it. Soft Ziggler. Just have Ziggler come out and like fucking like like just have him come out as as like Enzo Amore with even like the tattoos and everything too. This is the this is the greatest. By the way, this is the greatest fight that's happening between X Pac and Sad now right now. Cause it's just trading like punches and bitch slaps, and then the occasional like face wash. I'm gonna go over to this side, so you'll have to come get me, cause I'm going outside this cell. 
it's just bad soft Ziggler. <laughs> All right, looks like it's going to be Hollywood Bogan. Damn it. God damn you, Rob Van Dam. Someone get out here. I'm putting someone through a cell. If I have to... Come on. Come on, Bogan. The two bows are fighting. Uh, asked you to take him towards the ropes. Cool, 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 cool. No, didn't want that. There we go. This is just stupid. Someone come fight me. Anybody. Come fight me. I'm grabbing as many feet as I can so you come at me. There. Rob Van Dam. So I can get out of this damn cell. Go. Go. Get to the fucking cell. Oh shit, now I only have the signature. What the fuck? God damn it. Honestly, I thought Ty Black was maybe my proudest, my proudest one. And then I realized how wrong I was when I came up with fucking X-Pac and Bowflex and New Jake. I wanna, I want, like, I really wish I could get a Fandango that I could actually paint on his face. Mostly because I want. I want to be able to paint his face, and instead of Fondango, I dress him up like a clown and he could be Fondoinko. Oh shit. Okay, good. Man, the controls are so finicky in this goddamn thing. Bull Dempsey, Los Matadores. You don't even have to have Los Matadores, it's just... Just, just get El Torito and Johnny the Bull Stamboli. Yes. WCW references for the win. I told you that's absolutely not where I wanted you to put him. What a combination! You just don't know what's coming next. I want to leave this fucking thing. Dude, these controls are bad right now. I don't know what's going on, but I, I, these controls feel really bad right now. Like, they feel so goddamn unresponsive, it's scary. Stamboli. Yes. His shoulders are down. No, you ain't pinning X Pac that quickly. I wish I could make Stamboli. I, I wish I could make Stamboli like as as good as I want him to be. But that's not the direction I asked him to be. In. That's not the direction I asked him to be. Right, right. That's oh boy. Something's something's off. Something is way off. The Wait, Bowflex won? Shit! I was too busy trying to whip people out of the goddamn thing <laughs> to whip people out of the ring. No, that was quite the highlight. Some of this is just amazing. The cross phase by Bowflex. Is this? Yeah, that's the thing that I missed. Was he got the cross face on Hollywood Bogan? If I can find a Razor Ramon 
logo, or if I have to upload a Razor Rabo logo, I will. I think Razor Rabo should be my... But I'll dress him up like Scott Hall when he was in the NWO. <laughs> Bo Real, goddammit. Oh, Christ. Of course, Bowflex had to win this. Holy shit, is it my fucking bedtime. I gotta go to work. I might have something tomorrow, I'm not sure. I may be working overtime, I'm not sure. Since I work at the post office, it's fucking... And it's Christmas time. I could easily get hours. Um, not sure. I guess it really depends on if I want to take them or not. But, um... I know Tuesday night. Tuesday night I absolutely want to stream because I'm hopefully getting my HDMI splitter on Tuesday. It said it's supposed to arrive Tuesday. So I can actually stream from my PlayStation TV and do Sword Art Online. Um... So yeah, I, I definitely, maybe maybe Monday, if maybe tomorrow, if like I have a little bit of overtime and it's a thing where it's like, well, I don't feel like streaming too much right this second. Like I'll just do, I I I I, I gotta make Skip Sheffield as the uh, Skip Sheffield as the uh, as the uh, apprentice for the Underbaker. That's gotta happen. And then probably make a third person for the NW bow. Either way. So, yeah, hey, thanks, man, for, for coming out and <laughs> tweeting that to the NL guys. I'm sure they, I'm sure probably at least one of them got a kick out of it. I hope. And of course, once I get, once I get to about 20, like I said, I'm about 15 right now. Once I get to about 20, I'm throwing them all on like a roster and doing a WWE universe with them. Like, even if I have to, like, make a third, uh, uh, that's what I may end up doing, is just making a third roster and having their, like, have, have them have their own pay-per-views. Like, just put it on a different Sunday and have their roster specifically be that. So, yeah, man, thanks for coming out and doing all that, and I had a lot of fun. It's, it's, <laughs> even though it's been, like, six days, it's been too long for me since I streamed. <laughs> So yeah, um, you know if I don't uh, if I don't stream again tomorrow night, uh, definitely Tuesday night. 